A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. If you need a website or a domain, go to squarespace.com forward slash James for 10% off your first purchase. I don't know what the story with that chair is, but uh, interesting place for one. Oh, it's cold. It's supposed to be warm today. I'm in a shorts and t-shirt, but uh, well, as you can see, the sun hasn't risen yet and there's a biting wind. Hi everybody, uh, yesterday morning I went to uh, one of my favourite places for photography, Triada Bay uh, in Anglesey, or on Anglesey. Uh, and I did so with the aim of trying to become a better photographer, which I do every time I go out with my camera. However, yesterday I tried to do something very specific. Well, as you can see, the sun is coming up over there. I want to get around there so that I can shoot, hopefully, a reflection of the sunlight in the windows of this building. Let's go and have a try of that. Bit higher. Could really do with a flock of birds just flying over the, the house. Although when is that not the case? Honestly, I can't really describe what it is that I like about this scene, but um, I think that looks really cool. I think it's the, the horse sign and the light on the building and the telegraph pole. Right, I have to, uh, have to remember to turn the ND filter off now. Uh, so I'll stop being so cryptic, trying to be a better photographer by doing a, a very specific thing. Uh, basically, if you've spent time with a good photographer before, you'll know that when you're walking along uh, a beach or a street or up a mountain, wherever it might be, every now and then they will just sort of glaze over and stop listening to your story about the benefits of yogurt. And then they'll go, well, that's nice. Or, oh, look at that light something to that effect. And sometimes I do this too. I know that because Emily tells me, slash shouts at me for it. But in essence, what those people are doing is observing what is around them. And uh, that's the skill that I want to talk about today, observation. Because ultimately you could have the best camera and the best lenses in the world. But if you don't see opportunities for photos, naturally you won't take photos. And therefore be mindful when you're out taking photos is paramount to success. Very nice. Oh, I got size that wave. One of the, uh, the reasons I came here this morning is to see if it would be worth coming here to Triada Bay uh, on a morning, it's kind of a bit like this, but a much higher tide and much bigger swells. Um, we get kind of relatively few of those mornings in North Wales because the swell direction has got to be quite specific for it to be big. And uh, therefore it's important that you utilize those days well. So I wanted to see if, if this place would be a good place to come. So far, I think it would be. Right. So I'll have to get the telephoto out, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go around here a bit so that I'm not just shooting directly at the horizon with nothing on it. I wanna include some of the cliffs over there. That way we also get a bit more of a a side light situation as opposed to a, a front lit, which always looks a bit more attractive. No parking in the ferns, I assume that means.
Again, I couldn't really tell you why, but I quite like this scene. Maybe it's the yellow and blue. Quite like that. There's a blue wheel on that yellow boat as well. That's quite fun. Uh, now I appreciate it sounds quite straightforward to sort of walk around and be mindful of what's around you, but uh, I bet if you're anything like me, your mind wanders more than you care to admit. Because yeah, often I'll be walking along and I'll be thinking, oh, I wonder, wonder what the aerodynamic consequences of piggybacking are. Or I wonder if I could swim to that rock, you know, stuff like that. And so yesterday, really what I was aiming to do is just to be present for a couple of hours. Like those apps talk about, those mindfulness apps that tell you not to tell yourself off when your mind wanders, just to notice when your mind wanders. That's all I was trying to do really yesterday, to pay attention to details and what was around me and therefore what might become a good photo opportunity. That's the name of the game really in photography. Uh, by the way, also, all the best images that I get in this video, I've stuck on a page on my website. There's a link in my description. I'm gonna try and do that a bit more because uh, quite often I just sort of rely on people being able to see these images in videos, but that's not particularly good quality and you can't exactly browse unless you constantly pause the video. And I do upload them to social media, but it's on a tiny phone then. So yes, there's a page on my website with, with my favorite images from, from today's video. This little trio of three boats is quite nice, but uh, they keep moving, so I have to keep moving. And to separate them from the rest of the boats, I've had to uh, shoot at 70 mil, as opposed to 40. Not an award-winning shot, but it's uh, quite pretty. Quickly go and see if there are any reflections to be had on the beach. Well, I like the colour of her hair against the, uh, the backdrop of the blue sky. Oh yes, look at these waves. But I'll tell you what, I don't think you could really get much more my kind of scene than this. I mean, you've got crashing waves, lovely cottage, massive field of sheep over there. This is heaven. Right, well, here is that house from the other side and uh, something of a dream house in terms of views, I reckon. I wonder if it'll ever come on the market. Probably irrelevant. I doubt I'll ever be able to afford a view like that. Anyway, this is another good example of telegraph poles framing interesting things. And I mean, even with harsh light now, to me, that just looks awesome. Well, I mean, these guys have got the same view for, for free. Morning. Oh yeah. This is my kind of scene too. Nice track, again, telegraph poles, fences, choppy scene in the background, although maybe not quite as choppy as I'd have hoped for. Lovely. Shot of this and then maybe call it a day. That'll look nice in winter light, I think. Anyway, yes, that was, that was just some thoughts I, I had the other day and I put it into practice yesterday. Did okay, I think. Although the problem with this is, I suppose you'll never notice what you didn't notice. So it's quite a challenging exercise in that, 
in that way. Anyway, yes, thank you for watching. Hopefully that's interesting. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Now that page that I put together could not have been simpler. Uh, it was all just choosing my favorite images and then dragging and dropping to uh, basically where I wanted them to be. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna try and do that a bit more because it would be nice to have somewhere at home for the images that appear in my videos. So whenever I've done that, there will be a link in my description to my Squarespace website. Uh, now, if you're interested in having your own place online where you can show high res images in an environment that you control completely, then I couldn't recommend Squarespace enough. They've got lots of templates for portfolio websites and all kinds of other photography websites. There are blogging features, online store features, plenty of analytics to check it all out. And yeah, I absolutely love it. Have done for the eight years or so that I've had a Squarespace website. And yeah, if you'd like to try it yourself, you can go to squarespace.com to start a free trial. And after that, if you'd like to make a purchase, just go to squarespace.com forward slash James and you'll get 10% off of that first purchase. So a uh, big thank you to them. And uh, yes, I'm gonna go and try and be very observant. In fact, first observation today, I need a shave.